Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. Manchester United has just done something we haven't seen a lot for a long time yet. Manchester United beating Leicester. Three goals to nil. Smash a like for Van Nistelrooy. Smash a like if you did appreciate the, the I mean, not, not only the results, but what Van Nistelrooy has done for us for this short time. Look, I've heard this story a lot. I've watched football since, I mean, I started watching football in the late 80s. I must tell you that I might look young, but I'm not. I might tell you that, um, guys, you know what? One of the most difficult times is when you are in this transition period where you're giving a kind of vote of confidence. Uh, Van Nistelrooy has picking, uh, picked up a, a club which is lacking confidence and had managed to get the results that we didn't have. The first, uh, just some couple of days ago, it was the first uh, victory we United have had in the European tournament for over a year. And this is a club which is considered one of the biggest clubs in Europe. Guide also in regards to man of the match, who was your man of the match? Because look, I never stand on the fence on this one. For me, it was Ugate, and I want to tell you guys why I think it was a Ugate. I mean, if you are very, if you look at football in a very simplistic manner, you would just say, oh yeah, you know what, Ahmad scored a goal and he's a man of the match. Oh, Ganacho scored a stunner as a man of the Okay, yes, uh, you might be right, but let me tell you, go in depth on why I think uh, Ugate was the man of the match. This game today, one of those games that nobody will have a five over 10 in terms of performance i think united the most things i learned is the compact you know i'll tell you i'll do a video tomorrow five things we learned the video we do always with here on the channel so guys please make sure you subscribe and uh, click the like on the video start by liking this video today and uh, drop your comments below i just want to know what's your opinion the future we've asked the question should van Steroy stay in manchester united i know some skeptics some people with very soft heart would just say yes he should be giving a 10 years contract but in football they, they uh, you need to think through things you know football is played by humans and uh, we'll talk about that in another video but coming back to the game today i think manuel ogate for those of you who had already turned your back against ogate it is exactly the kind of player united we have missed not because he did well today is because if you know the way football works during the days of the Galatitos, you always had somebody who is an energetic midfielder. Casimiro doesn't have the legs, he can't do that a lot. But you know, Ogate still has that physicality. physicality. I think the guy has another five years of energetic um, uh, output he could give in that position. He is a CDM, someone who, I mean, a really CDM, someone who might not be that creative like the Carrick, but he has the energy maybe close to Roy Keane. I don't know, but yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm so happy for uh, the results today. I think uh, Van Nistelrooy is someone which, by the way, in my personal assessment, I think he should leave Manchester United. He shouldn't stay. He shouldn't destroy his reputation. I know he loves the club. We all know most ex-players know love the club. I'm a fan. I love the club. You as well. But um, uh, there are many reasons why I think he should leave. I'll do that for another video during this break. But, um, and yeah, he has done a good job. I think he'll come back in the Premier League and coach another team do well maybe been sacked there but he's building his profile as a top manager in future what we learned today in this game today uh, was that manchester united could play as a compact team we could have a systematic team one of the biggest uh, changes today was that we let ahmad come into the midfield not as a midfielder but he was he was allowed to be a little bit free coming in the midfield one of the biggest problem we had with ten Hag, i think i did that on my previous video was not only omitting uh, Ahmad, but also testing new things. Ten Hag didn't test much. Ten Hag was so old school. That is what blind my, it was a blind blind me. I think Tonde would say, "Oh, Raf, yeah, remember I said Ten Hag the players play well. Why didn't?" But yes, you might have a point. But look, I think Ten Hag. The problem was that Ten Hag is quite was very conservative. That's the word. Very conservative manager. Um, he wasn't ready to excel to to exploit the, the uh, certain new things. He wasn't that kind of manager. So. Hopefully, uh, Amaron, who, who starts tomorrow, by the way, on Monday um, in Manchester. And we, we're hearing uh, information so, yeah, as the game was going. I looked on Twitter that Amaro, Amaron, was, Amaron was on the pitch watching Manchester United. And the biggest question will be not if you, how United play today, but who are the players Amaron will trust. Uh, we'll do that, uh, in the, we'll do that uh, coming up. Uh, um, uh, we'll do that... Uh, in the nearest future, Amaron, uh, the players Amaron trust. Yeah, uh, and, uh, yeah. so uh, that's where we are. Guys, I downloaded a link and I'm just getting our antivirus information here. I don't know what to do. I'll need to restart this computer. 
Oh my life. Anyway, yeah, guys, uh, let's just go straight again with the match uh, with, with our player ratings. I think Onana very quiet night, six point five. That's my view. I don't know about you. Uh, the two defenders, I give them a solid seven. They really come. Uh, they they dealt with everything that we need. That 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 is uh, delete and also. Uh, and Lisa Martinez, they were good. The Mister One Hundred Percent, the Moroccan defender. Uh, Mazari was also on this game. I think he, he has a, a clean seven. He, he's hard to, to criticize this guy. He's so good on the ball. On the right, Delo also did what he's do, he can do better. Not one of his best game, but you know Delo was a six. No player will have a five today in my view. I think Casemiro was clear that a man of the match. He was a seven. Uh, I um, um, the, My man of the match, 7.5, was Ogate. And I want to tell you guys why. Because Ogate wasn't just there for his energy. His distribution was good. He has brought what we didn't have very early on which is that stability in terms of energy and in terms of possession so he he, he does assist in possession and he's also defensively uh ready in terms of his energy and en the en energetic levels and when you're in the midfield you have you are very way and you're very useful in terms of the movement of the ball in a team that is kind of static and which is be trying to build up confidence like manchester united you easily notice so i think ogate for me, he was my man of the match. Actually, 7.5 for him, Ogate. Um, Bruno Fernandes scored his goal. Yeah, 7. I think Bruno, not his best game, but uh, he was way better than all the games so I've seen of late. Bruno, 7 for me. Um, uh, Rasmus Holland. Look, Harris Holland, I give him a 6.5. I would have given him a seven if he scored a goal. The reason why I give Harris Thomas Hola, I think you would need to be someone who doesn't understand football to give Rasmus Hola a four or five or below six. Why? Because you you would judge him just for a goal. And you're correct, he's an attacker, he's a nine, he needs to score goals. But what he needs to do also is to be, how do you call it? Is this a decoy nine or, or uh, his movement without the ball has to be elite. So if you have a static nine, what happens is you create less chances. So because of the energetic, level, energetic levels of Rasmus Holland moving forward, the fact that he does a lot of running, not like a headless chicken, um, it creates, I'll put it this way, if you have creative players, which we have one, like Ahmad, you will profit a lot from having an attacker who is very mobile like Rasmus. Take that to the bank. So Rasmus, for me, I think he had a, a, not a boss game. I mean, a six. Some will even six on five, if you understand for more. Um, um, yeah, um, um, we had uh, Marcus Rashford, I think a 5.5 for me. Rashford has to learn to be collective. That is his biggest criticism. Rashford's problem is the collective nature of his football, which is, which is really disturbing him to be a football is a collective game. Um, yeah, he was really quiet. Not that he played bad, but he was just so quiet. You can't say something other. And um, yeah, Ganacho came in, clear seven. So he has had a lot of criticism lately, but he has done the job. I think Ganacho is the future. We need to invest in this player. And um, yeah, so the, the, all the players who came in on average six, those who came in the last minute uh, on average six, seven, you can give what you want to say, but. My man of the match, Ogate, I've told you guys. Tell me what you think below. Who was your man of the match? Guess what? And Vanister Roy is leaving the team in a high. Too bad he's not a player, but Vanister Roy, I give him an 8. 3 nil is something we haven't seen in our era, even in Ten Hag era. Team, leaving a club where you know you're leaving, you're leaving a club which you love, it's in your heart, and you leave them with a victory 3 nil. It is super good. You know what is bad? It's bad that the only bad thing is that you put too much pressure on the manager who is taking the job because the press are just waiting for this manager for things to go wrong and say why didn't you take Van Nistelrooy that's why I'm closing this video asking you should Van Nistelrooy stay as Manchester United manager if you answer this question you're a legend which means you watched it now smash a like on the video we'll be doing 10 things we learned in this game tomorrow stay tuned and guess what I'm not feeling well but talk to you soon bye bye Manchester United have just won a game of football, three goals to nil, without conceding any goal, and happy days. Have a lovely weekend, guys. Ciao, ciao.